Maven repository. So uh, before going to start about uh, Maven repository, I will give you one, ex uh, one uh, point for uh, Maven repository. So we know whenever we are going to use Maven, what is exactly important uh, ma important part of Maven repository. So Maven repository will be used to download the charts, whatever uh, is specified in pom.xml. So repository will have uh, all uh, jars, uh, it's something like whatever useful for our project. So in this also we have a different different uh, repositories where we have a central libraries and where we have a uh, private libraries uh, which will be useful only within that organization for with particular project. So, so Maven repository is reducing the duplication of dependent software libraries required to build an application. So this is very important part and it will uh, reduce the duplication of uh, dependent software libraries. Um, and the repository is storing all the software libraries in a remote store. Libraries private to the organization cannot be uploaded. By setting up an internal Maven repository, an organization can avail of the benefits of uh, Maven repository. And repository jars have been used by the Maven form.xml. So, for example, my project is Maven repository, Mavenized uh, project means every project will have a minimum form.xml will specify what and all jars required for the up uh, application uh, that entries will be there in pom.xml as a dep inside dependency tag so uh, jars will not be available in the application only entries will be there in pom.xml so whenever we do maven clean install whatever entries are available in pom.xml those entries those jars will be downloaded from the maven repository and it will be set to the project. So uh, we will see what uh, types of Maven repositories we have. Uh, first one is local repository. Uh, existing on a developer's machine and is maintained by the developer. It is in sync with the Maven repository defined in the settings.xml in their uh, home.m2 folder. If no private report a remote internal repository is set up and listened in the palm.xml file or settings.xml file, then this local repository on developer's machine is synchronized with the public Maven repository at uh, uh, ibiblio.org that is where we have a central repository uh, that is our central repository for Maven and uh, other one is uh, so I hope you understand local repository so all the charts whatever available in a uh, central repository will be downloaded and uh, will be stored in local repository where we have a um, em2 folder and uh, this folder this folder uh, location even we can change uh, using our own uh, location so that setting we have to uh, specify in settings.xml for local repository so all the charts are downloaded from that and will be placed in that specific folder so that is local repository and the second one is private remote internal repository so this repository which will uh, set up uh, we will change the maven form.xml or settings.xml to use this repository so this is basically where we will use it in organization if we have a pri uh, uh, our own uh, charge instead of using central repository we will create our own repository for our application those repository will be uh, mm, will be used to place jars related application or project and third one is public remote external repository so for example if we don't have money to spend for repository and will not think uh, will, we don't have any private repository we can go for the public remote external repository where we have a maven external repository that means central repository so we can have a 
that as a uh, central repository and if we want to know about maven also for a local setup and all uh, no need to worry about private remote internal repository directly if we take maven setup that jars will be downloaded from this uh, uh, central repository so no need to worry about that and the comparison of various maven repository managers we have a different manager uh, different repository managers we have one is standard maven proxy from uh, code has second one is dead simple maven proxy and third one is proximity and fourth one is artifact basically proximity and artifact are more useful uh, as of now proximity right this is uh, is now encouraged to use nexus the entire code base of proximity was observed into nexus and the nexus provides micro migration path for all proximity users so nexus and artifact are most uh, useful uh, now and uh, many organization will follow nexus see what is exactly nexus versus artifact if you see this uh, table structure we can easily understand proximity and artifact have a many uh, things supporting uh, where we have uh, access to so this is having admin tools uh, tools uh, access and a repository browser will have and deployable in standard web server uh, and create and edit and delete uh, sub, uh, sub repositories and we have a option of bulk import and export that is available in only artifactory and uh, easy to set up and use so we have uh, uh, both in uh, artifactory and proximity and backup facilities you also there in artifactory so if we if we can uh, if we observe right artifactory having more uh, and we will see what is exactly proximity and the difference between artifactory and the proximity proximity nothing but now it is nexus and if you see uh, nexus versus artifact nexus uses file system to store artifacts and metadata whereas artifactory uses tbdb by default so basically artifact using a database internally artifact can also be configured to use a handful of RD rdbms for artifact storage so basically nexus using a file system to store the artifacts but whereas artifactory using a db by default artifactory takes the pol uh, polar opposite approach and stores the metadata and the artifacts themselves in a huge database the reason they claim it's needed is for transactional behavior using a database does not guarantee transactional and it certainly is not the only way to get a transactional behavior in order to use a database artifacts needs to have import and export tools the important uh, the imports and exports of this data are reported to a take significant amount of time and nexus char weights is about 30 m while artifactory is about 37 m because uh, artifactory in uh, using inside a database and for maven we we'll had to edit maven settings dot xml to use nexus as a release and plugin repository and built my project using maven install after enabling remote in indexing on nexus so we have to edit uh, manually settings dot xml but whereas artifactory as is the ability to generate and save a settings dot xml file and fourth point building the project using artifactory took about five minutes whereas building using nexus took 8.5 minutes not exactly uh, not exact science kind of faster but still good for initial impression thank you